Yo guys, what's going on here? This is the start of the LDL Finals. Today we're going to have the LDL SD showdown. Tomorrow is the LDL Evolution League. Then the day after that is the LDL Majors or Finals, all being showed here by Squid and myself. So, as you know, and you can see in your bottom right hand corner, I am joined by the one, the only... The Blazing Squid. What do you do, Blazing Trainers? It is your boy. He plays in Squid, but you guys already knew that. And it is 12 o'clock midnight, and I am wearing a hat indoors. Yes, yes, because that's how cool the launch is. If you guys watch my videos, you guys know that before I click a move, I always ask what would a Pokemon trainer do, and he would wear a hat indoors. So, what? Not seriously, turn it back. Yes, so, yeah, so are you serious yet or not? <laughs> Am I serious? Right. Oh, that trim. Look at it, it's dead. He couldn't hear me, awesome, he couldn't hear me, sweet. <laughs> so, as you can tell, it is quite late for Squid, and I'm quite sleep deprived myself. So let's, let's, let's watch this match. Uh, any thoughts bef before we click play? Uh, I, I'm already loving the fact that all these players are going into these, these finals with different teams. I'm seeing like a different team in these finals, and it's crazy. Mm. But uh, seeing the fact... Hmm, so as a potato farmer has a much bulkier team than his opponent. Like Cole Yoko has a more offensive team, so I like that team already more. Yeah. But I don't know, sometimes if you don't have the right wall breakers, which in this sense, I think a potato farmer has got the best the, the best counters he can for his opponent. The only thing that does worry me a little bit is Needle King's Earth Powers. That might hurt. Yeah, because my thing is, if the uh, Heracross can get in well on the re necklace, that'll be a massive loss to Potato Bear. Yeah. So uh, let me look at their teams quickly, see what they, what they both have. Uh, so, would it automatic? What, the, what are the leads here? Would it be Empoleon and. Dragonite. Um, I think. Dragonite? Yes. So, what we can do is we can. Yeah, and Paul then, yeah. Oh, Nader King. Nader King, because it's the other way. Yeah, other Nader King, yeah, okay. Yeah, I thought it might be the other way. Okay. So I'm looking at this. We had the San Antonio Espers, which is which is Potato Farmer, finished 8 and 2 with a diff of 21. Then Coded mm -hmm. finished 6 and 4 with a differential of 8. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So Potato has. So Potato made the tier list for this league, and he's pretty much killing it in this league, so. If he wins it, I'm going to call rigged it. <laughs> okay, alright. So, I'd say, I'd, I'd say let's, let's just watch this match and just see how it goes. Yeah, let's go. So, I think Air Power, no, he switches out. Still, okay. okay. Interesting. That's actually a first turn interesting. Mm. Right there. So, he's trying to frisk, and he saw what? Shuka? Ooh, so our yeah. here was prepped. And I'm I'm gonna go slow. There we go. Rocky Helmy, Starmy, what just happened? He comes to knock off from Weavile. Does it, is it life orb? Does it have like hidden power? Hidden power fighting? Why would you? I suppose so. You're not gonna take as much damage now, but still. Yeah. Okay. This is. Hmm. That was interesting. That was an interesting set of plays. If he's gonna fake it, so like, my... he, didn't, he didn't gain much ground. Though. Like, he... That's what wor no. that's what worries me right there. He lost three percent from that one, so. Ooh, good play, oh, good so play. That's a good read, though. That's a good read. Is he... That's a free air power right there. Yeah. So, so that I was mentioning before. I, I'm telling you that. Is he scar? Air power. No, he's he's no, no, not scar. Ooh, but okay. That scarf. Now that he knows that scarf, he can go safely into Arcanine. Arcanine will be a good swap. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But no intimidate. Okay. But no there's intimidate. no intimidate. Yeah. Flash. Flash fire. Yeah. Maybe justified. Maybe justified. Hidden power, but he eats the sugar berry, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Morning sun. 
when he signed it. Okay, so he's... He's getting... You know, it's, it's funny, because I said Kovioko had to be more offensive team, but right now it's looking more defensive. Yeah. Ooh, so the life orb will kill next turn. Yeah, so the life orb next turn will kill the Raikou. Oh, that's going to hurt. He has to swap it out. Yep. He's going to be able to see his choice banded. Potato farmers bring a lot of choice mods. He did, actually. Well, we've yeah. seen the choice scarfer, we've seen the choice... Banded. Band. The Reuniclus' choice specs, that'd be funny to watch, but okay. Ooh. Ooh. But in saying that, a life orb will will kill it next turn. Life, life orb attack. Yeah, it's the only thing. Yeah. Why wouldn't he go into Nader King that, that turn? Because he wasn't out, gonna outspeed it. And I don't know, maybe... Yeah. Power, oh, no, it doesn't have any power ice or something. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Exactly. Uh, so, 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 I would go Nato King and then into the Wigglytuff, hoping that Wigglytuff could take a, take a, take a hidden power ground. At plus one. So I like. The, okay, Trick Room or Unicus, really smart play. And it's gonna hurt this whole team. Mm. It's gonna straight morning sun. I don't. Know. Will do we will Lewis? Well, no, no, there's no Willow. Just gets rocks up. Okay. Rocks are gonna go up. That's gonna be a big factor. And he has no removal. Oh, oh look, yo, if his opponent has swapped out there, does it break? It does break. Oof. Well, the avalanche is good as well. Cause it, because it's never mind. It should kill. No, it does kill. So does he go guard comp? Smart. Bandit. That's a bad play. That's yeah, but, a bad play. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. It was that a is a bad play, play yes. That Heracross being a bug type resists the the ground move. So he could have lived an earthquake. So the Dragon Claw was an obvious play right there. Yeah. No. Kolioko deserves to lose this game, unfortunately. I Why would you? This, yeah. But he, he deserves to lose this game right now. He's he's swapping way too much. He's playing especially with rocks so up. Basically, yeah. Because he yeah because he's rocks up and he keeps swapping in Heracross and uh, Arcanine. Although he can gain back health there. And we saw that previously when Starmie was in, all he would click was recover. Yeah. Uh, recover like. And that happens here. He needs he needs what. One more morning sun, and then he's back to full. Well, regardless, uh, Garchomp comes, comes in and clicks Earthquake. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah fair, yeah. Yeah, so that's a 3 0 win. Yeah. Unless he wouldn't kill Heracross with it. No, yeah. Nah, it's a. It's a. It's a. It's a why would you. That makes no sense. That right there makes no sense to me. That makes no sense. Because my thing is with that, uh, I know your scarf. I was, I uh, so, oh, okay. so he was a scarf needle king. But yes, like his opponent. It was yeah. Regardless, if you were locked into ice cream, if wait, into Napoleon, wait, fix yeah. That. Cause Cause yeah, cause and he has a sugar berry intact. Yeah, cause yeah, cause Coda just had to say if you if if you sack Trump you lose. Then Potato goes how? Then Coda goes uh uh Hera Megahorn uh Hera across Megahorn's re re plus post combat OKOs and Polyon. But the re was uh, Sash. So he was basically. So basically, what he was trying to say is, if he had an ice beam, he he would ice beam killed, sack the needle king, yeah, to then bring in the, yeah, which actually I don't agree because of the fact that had he locked himself into scarf ice beam, his opponent goes into reuniclus, sets up the trick room, and clicks side shocks and he wins. So yeah, pretty much. In retrospect, that's how that's how it would have played out. His opponent it, would have seen yeah. I can't beat the Heracross. Let me set up the trick room and then just click side shot twice. Yeah. So, so it was a good bluff. I, I see where he's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. 
I see, I see the, I see, I see the thought process behind it. Indeed, but what hurt him was the swapping out a lot with Roxa. Yeah, no, yeah. At the end there, I, I, his opponent, a potato farmer, capitalized that his opponent was swapping out a lot. Yeah. He said, Let me get up these rocks. And it played a factor. It did, yes. So with that being said, uh, we have our first winner of of LDL Crown this Crowns this season. And it is uh, the potato farmer, which his name is now like Adam Mench or something like that in, in the Discord. But with that being said, uh, congrats, mate. You deserved it in this match and, cl and clearly deserved it for the season. Being first in the, in the in the regular season and now and now winning twice in playoffs. So that being said, congrats, mate. Uh, and can all the winners please contact Ready Blue Wizard or Spooky Blue Wizard, as you might be. For their prize, because every winner of LDL this season will be winning a copy of Pokemon Sword and Shield. What? Yep. We are giving out prizes in that, boys. So, that being said, this has been the Work Land Down Under. See you tomorrow, and peace.